In this video, I'll be explaining the essential NumPy sorting function, Lexor, also known as indirect sort. So, what is Lexor? Lexor comes into play when we encounter situations where we need to sort an array, but the order of the elements is determined by a separate set of keys. To better understand this, let's consider an example. To start, first I imported NumPy as NP, and now I have two different NumPy arrays as our data. The NumPy array A has some data, and the NumPy array B also has the same amount of integers. So how would we sort NumPy array A? Typically, we would have the two, and then we would have the three threes, and then the two sixes. However, we face a challenge determining the order of the threes and the sixes. Which one would go first? The one in this index or the one in this index? To address this, we can use the power of the lexort function in NumPy. The lexort function allows us to sort an array based on multiple keys or criteria. It assigns a priority to each key, and when a tie occurs, it moves the next key to break the tie. So let's delve into the syntax. Here, let's have our list called sorted list. The syntax for the NumPy lexort function is as follows. So np dot lexort. The first parameter it takes is multiple arrays. So we can have array B and array A be part of its parameters. And make sure that you set them as a tuple. The next parameter that the lexort function takes is the axis. By default, the axis is set to negative one, which indicates that it takes the last axis. But what is the axis? The axis is essentially what axis the lexort function sorts a array by. So if there's a two-dimensional array, we can tell it to be the vertical or horizontal axis. If it's three-dimensional, we can have axis equal to two to make it sort into the third dimension. For example, since we only have a one-dimensional array, we won't need the axis. Now, to demonstrate lexort, let's assign the array to variable A and the secondary array to variable B. When we pass these arrays into the lexort function, it returns the indices that represent the sorted order based on the keys. We can then use these indices to reorder the original array accordingly. So in our scenario, we want to sort array A, considering the tiebreaker values being in array B. By using lexor AB, we can obtain the indices that indicate the desired order. When we apply these indices to array A, we get the sorted array that meets our criteria. So let's see this in an example. Lexort takes the function right to left. So we can see here that array A is our primary sorting function. So we will sort array A, and then B can be seen as a tiebreaker array. So let's sort it, and let's also print our values in the sorted list. And here we get the list of indices. So let's examine it. So the first one is the zeroth index. So that would make sense because the leg sort function sorts from least to greatest. So we would expect the two. The next though is the second index. So this three, why did it choose this three instead of this three or this three? Because of the secondary list that we have provided B. If we look into the secondary list, this three has a value of two, this three has a value of five, and this three has a value of six. So it takes the smallest, so it goes to this three or the second index. Next, it goes to the fourth index and the sixth index. Index. Same thing with the sixes. Since this six is mapped to a four, which is less than this six, which is mapped to a seven, it will go to the first. It will go to the first index and then the fifth index. And lastly, it will go to the nine, which is in the third index. So where would this be useful in real life? In this example, let's change these values to something like names. So if we sort names in NumPy, it will be sorted alphabetically. So let's say we have Alice, and then next, say, let's say we have Charlie, let's say we have Bob, and let's say we have Alice again here. And then we have Bob again here, and we'll have Grace, and then Charlie. Since some of the names are the exact same, this is where lexor plays an important role if we want a secondary characteristic. 
So we can assume these numbers to be something like points. So this could be like a social media page and we're sorting all the users by the points they have or the number of followers, for example. So in this case, we, the, we want the primary characteristic to be their name and the secondary factor to be the number of followers they have. So let's so use Lexor again. And this time we get these indices. And this makes sense because this Alice has lower number of followers than this Alice. And if we wanted this to be from greatest to least, we can use two colons and a negative one. So that's Lexor in a nutshell. And one more important thing is you can add more than two arrays. So we can have a third factor or a fourth factor. It's a powerful tool for sorting arrays based on multiple keys, allowing us to handle complex sorting scenarios effectively. But there's another important NumPy sorting function, argsort. So if you're curious on learning more about argsort, check out this video next.